The first question you get is, you know, how do you get your groceries? Where else could you live that your groceries actually would be delivered and put in your kitchen if you ask that to happen? The truth of the matter is, it all works, and it all works really well. And they do it with a smile. Well, basically, when you get over to the Welcome Center, you're going to kind of pull up to the backdrop area. Uh, you're going to drop off all your luggage, groceries, whatever you have that's got to come over. Uh, the folks over there in the valet department pack it all up into trailers for you. We'll come up, pick it up, take it down to the boat, load it up, bring it over to this side, and the valet is unloaded and bring it right to your house. The surprise was how easily we could adapt to living on an island without a bridge and not having all the modern conveniences at our fingertips all the time. If you're looking to get back and forth, set your watch by the boat schedule because it'll. Uh, that's what drives the whole uh, the whole shebang over here. You just adjust. You do adapt. And we've never changed our mind. There's no place we'd rather be. If uh, in emergency medical situations, uh, we get a helicopter here inside of 10 minutes if it's really serious, and then that's, again, probably faster than you'll get to an ambulance on Hilton Head. Uh, if we had a bridge, we'd have it removed. It's the most relaxing 25 to 30 minutes that you can have each day. And you just decompress from regular life. Uh, there are no hassles. Um, that's really an honest answer. The, the boat ride is a great time to relax. It's a great time to chat with your neighbors. It's a wonderful social meeting point where you meet friends and you exchange news, boat gossip as they say. It makes it for a community where everyone has to reach out to each other. And it works.